Welcome back to another episode of We Are Playing Old Games. Oh yeah, yeah. The first one was of course Diablo 2, and now we have another little trait. It is sacred, uh, with a little bit of a patch in it. Uh, only thing you have to Google basically is just reborn, uh, well, sacred, uh, and HD mod, and the first site should actually be a Google site, uh, which is the creator of this mod, the reborn mod download it and uh, install it into the folder where the sacred.exe can also be found and once you did that uh, you have to open up the little config uh, exe that got installed change the uh, resolution a little bit and everything is good anyway uh, let's just do that here and choose ourselves a nice hero that's just a look at that. Something is weird with the with the mice, I believe. Like something is off at times. Whatever. I'm a seraphim, descended like, from a race of mystical warrior angels from the So bloodshy. It's Once so weird. There were many like me. I'm an elf. Who's an elf? What about this? I'm a battle mage. A and battle mage. Magic, I have yeah. discovered the warrior's arts for myself. Mm -hmm. Actually he's no warrior I'm a at dark all. Elf and come from a power-hungry group of the elves. Mm -hmm. The ritual martial arts of our blood cult have turned me into a deadly shadow fighter, destroying my enemies with poisoned blades and precise... I am the vampire. It's very interesting that the text they speak is actually different uh, from the text that's given to you here. Like, you have... I'm a gladiator. See? An expert at close combat. It's always I am, I am, I, I, I. Once, but actually the description is... Once this one is perfect. This world. And this one is also perfect, right? Uh, but both of them have no uh, name for them. Damn it. There we go. This Just don't I'm click on any characters. Descended from a race <sighs> of mystical it's warrior a, it's so from the sweet. era of it's the Wars so of the God. Anyway. I'm an elf, hmm. a forest ranger, and a hunter. Now the big question is, which character do we I'm go for? Mage. Because usually what happens is I'm going for battle mages. Um, but this game here is actually a bit the um, with a different. Because actually all of the uh, spells of the characters are absolutely amazing. And... Uh, I'm a dark elf. And come from a power. Hunt. Yeah, once I actually played the dark, uh, the dark Elf, which was pretty neat. Also, the Vampires is a I really, vampire. really cool character uh, because of the whole I don't know two-handed the... uh, idea kind of thing. I'm a seraphim. Same goes for the Seraphim. Like her combo of like magic and uh, normal weaponry is actually pretty neat. And then you just have the slightly better version of, <laughs> of the oh, Seraphim. Uh, it's just so funny. Anyway. Another an one elf, would also be the wood a elf. Ranger and a hunter. You can uh, summon like uh, animals to your side and whatnot. That's actually pretty neat. And the I'm gladiator has like piercing, uh, piercing sight and everything. So I'm a battle mage and apart from the thing is, being a battle mage is just so much fun. Um, now the big question is just what kind of spell am I going to max in this game? Um, because I usually just focus on like one spell. Uh, and then I just get it as high as possible until I can uh, one hit almost every enemy. The problem with this is you need like gear uh, that can reduce the cooldown of it all and I never managed to balance it right so that I actually finished the game in its uh, add-on state. So that's the uh, that's the iffy bit. Uh, how do I... I'm a go. battle mage. Alright. Da -da -da -da. Uh, uh. So let's go for the battle mate. Of course, we start at bronze because actually we can just go with silver. Why not? Let's just make it a bit more difficult and start to suck it.
Shine Shada. Noctura Premis Shine. Da. Sakana. The guy's dead. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Super. What the hell? Oh, Act One. Mm. There's like a, th there was an intro cutscene, and then there is the Act One cutscene that, uh, or the cutscenes for all of the acts that happen. Okay, someone is definitely out of breath. Anyway, uh, the dream, Shadda, the necromancer summons a demon and fails. The beast from the depth of hell is free, drenched in sweat. You awaken from your restless sleep, another one of those dreams. Only it felt so real, and yet not so. The dream was like a hot shard, imminent danger. Maybe your mentor, Alcalata of the Mages Conclave, can shed some light on this strangeness affecting the world of Karia. Which is the world we are at the moment. And welcome to Ankaria. In order to make your first adventure as easy as possible, important game elements will be described in windows like these. You will also find a general help screen if you press H. Ah, nice. To begin with your... Uh, up. First steps. To begin with, uh, you should do two things. Firstly, open a chest to look for items. And secondly, speak to the character who eagerly wishes to tell you something in indicated by the question mark exclamation mark kind of thing they just don't know if they ask you a question or like whatever anyhow this is the guy and how do we move uh left click actually this game does not tell you how to move which is kind of weird uh you're expected to do that anyway but um we can't really say that this is bad for the game because usually what these games come with is a manual which you read uh, once the game is installing, but it just take a few seconds. Yeah. That's so sweet. And look at that. Ah, oh, nice. It looks so good. Introduction, companions. Uh, through quests, you can have companions who will follow you on your journey. Depending on your companions, they will either hide or participate in battle. Once the quest has been completed, or your companions have achieved their own objectives, then they will leave you. Fighting companions can be armed with various weapons, just as... Select a weapon from your backpack and left click on the companion's portrait. If they are already bearing a weapon, it will be exchanged for the new weapon you selected. Once a companion leaves you, he'll leave his weapon on the ground for you to pick up again. <gasps> See this? This is a very important kind of thing. This is something that Diablo 2, even uh, the resurrected version, did not make right. <laughs> because if you switched companions or uh, mercenaries, then the gear was just poof, gone. Or at least I uh, didn't really manage to see it. I don't know. At least I never noticed that. So, uh, there is this uh, thingy. May Lim Shadima Coven in memory of the dancing dead. Uh, and then there is this one. Introduction. Collecting item. Actually, I kind of know how the game works, right? But uh, let's just play it as if we have absolutely no clue how the game functions. So, quests. Where was I? Collecting items. Uh, chests, book stands, cupboards, barrels, and other objects which are highlighted when the mouse pointer hovers over them can be searched by pressing the left mouse button. Sometimes items will be uncovered. Also, defeated foes can drop items. Such items can be collected by simply left clicking the item. You can also use the auto collect function, which is the A key by standard. And you can also uh, change the. Uh, uh, the key is because this a modded uh, game and there's a key change function which is so convenient because um, 
sometimes I kind of break my fingers playing this game. Uh, if you press and hold the Alt key information about items currently lying will be displayed. Collected items can be found in the backpack within the inventory with the I key, which is this one. What about B? B does not do anything. But yeah, oh, look at how small this is. Usually this thing is as large as the whole screen. Like it goes like, yeah. Like uh, all of this, which is to the right of the uh, of us and all of this to our left, all of it down here and all of it up here, uh, like up over there. It's kind of like additional stuff. Neat. Also, something very interesting. You can um, learn different skills in this game. And different characters have different skills that they can learn. The only problem is you don't know that. But, well, you could read the manual, but no one has the manual anymore because they're all too lazy to look at the PDF. But, um, yeah, basically, if you want to uh, use, let's say, two weapons, uh, one in the left and one in the right hand, you need a specific dual wield skill, uh, which only certain characters have. This mage does not have that, but we don't really care about dual wield because we want to use abilities anyway. Also, there's no uh, mana usage. The only thing we care about is um, seconds um, between our little attacks. And also, all of these uh, items here, right? This is a spell, by the way, that you can learn. Combat art in here. It will unlock one of these uh, abilities. If you have lightning strike, for example, if you right click to add to your uh, combat arts abilities and then you level it up by one um where's the buddy thing i'm looking for lightning strike that's the one energy discharge with uh, large area effect brought by uh, branching and so on and so forth like you can use this uh and of course the next level is also depicted which is kind of neat also look at the difference here the level one has 2.7 seconds uh and level two has 4.1 seconds so if you level this up too fast uh well you do get more uh, damage which is kind of neat but also it takes much longer for you to use this skill so what you need kind of uh, is like a low level skill and a high level skill so one that kills the enemy and one that can be used like in between this is something that i just came up right now because i, I never really thought of by uh, using time in this game also there's something nice that's called combos and you can uh, learn those by uh, combo master so you can like um, have multiples of those spells just layered uh, together, right? Um, I think it was four abilities that you can mix together. So you can have like fire spirals, four of them, which is absolutely great. Um, you just use this one combo and then <laughs> there's like, oh, all of this comes up at once. It's so amazing. This is just such a nice feature. It's absolutely great anyway uh and also uh you have the ability to um yeah use certain weapons i think even uh rings and amulets uh had the ability to be placed on like uh on weapons and so on because you can also go to the smith put those thingies in and then depending on what what you put it on uh you get a different ability so they kind of function like jewels Anyhow, uh, there's like skills and attributes that you can uh, switch between, like attributes, of course, and a nice description, what does what. Uh, we are actually, like, there are different kind of abilities. Uh, there are blue abilities and uh, green abilities. This is a blue ability, and blue is usually magic, uh, which goes uh, or increases uh, not just the power, was it? Yeah, uh, but also reduces the spell cooldown, so the higher the mental regeneration, the lower the cooldown on our spells so we want to max this in order to uh cast higher level spells but uh endurance is also a problem right uh, increases physical fire and poison resistance and also increases poison damage of weapons and special moves this is an interesting thing right like uh oh no this is just um this is just resistance upgrades and poison damage so this is something for the dark elf by the way um, for now, I'm just going uh, through the uh, different uh, attributes here, just to clarify things. Um, so where was I? Uh, yeah, strength for some reason increases health, uh, attack, and a bit defense. Physical and fire damage of weapons and special moves. So if you are a huh, um, like a special move character, special moves are the um, well, not mental uh, regeneration thingies. 
uh, like this one for example increases health and its regeneration and physical resistance and reduces cooldown of special moves the special moves are the green spells i was talking about they are more for the physical kind of characters like the um gladiator um or some other characters have a mix of spells uh they can choose either physical or uh magical or what was it special move no wait a minute uh yeah, there's a spell cooldown and then there is special moves. Uh, spells and special moves, by the way. So, anyhow. Uh, so they can basically switch between the two. Um, you have the option to play them both ways. Uh, but the thing is, you can't just increase both of them because you run out of points. Um, so anyway, what was I? So this is good for fire damage. And this is basically the thing that you use if you want to go for the, uh, for, for the demon, I think. So dexterity increases defense and a bit attack. Um, the and a bit, right? <laughs> uh, this is the other way around. Like, this one increases health, attack, and a bit defense. Um, so, what was I? Uh, increases physical, fire, and... No, wait, this was the wrong one. Dexterity, there we go. Increases defense, uh, and a bit attack. And physical damage in ranged combat. And fire resistance and fire damage of well, weapons and uh, special moves. So, this is a fire thing. Um, fire resistance and fire damage of weapons and that's also fire damage of weapons and special moves interesting so both of these increase the fire damage very very neat also yeah you have your poison damage of course then you have increases health and its regeneration Ooh -ha. and there we triggered something and look at this the health bar right is shown against normal damage around uh, the uh, enemy itself which is something really cool it's as if it's in the world itself, and it's not just a, uh, like you have the other health bar down here, overlaid if you click on it. Also, the resistances are displayed, so this goblin has a little bit, no, a little bit physical resistance, and uh, very much fire resistance. So, I have to say that the uh, detail, uh, and all of its abundance is just so sweet. Anyway, so C goes for combos, uh, I is my inventory, um, and K could be the combat arts, no, J, L, L, no, L is my books of things to do, what is J, J is nothing, um, X marks no spot, uh, what about B, B is nothing, um, B was the backpack, but what about N and M, M is the world map, and the world map is amazing, because you can, you, you have your world map right here. Uh, you can like zoom upwards or downwards. For some reason, it is uh, ah right click, um, so you can like move this up and mostly up and down. Like left and right almost has like no meaning in here. So it goes up and it goes down. And uh, that's the demon realm. Everything north of here is basically like yeah. Th this is the demon realm. So um, what was I? Yeah, you can like. Do this up and down, and then something really interesting. You can left click. Now it's uh, dark in here, but if you move to the right, like you see every area that you have uncovered with all of the vendors and oh, that's actually quite interesting that I can see vendor uh, icons from far away. Uh, yeah, because I see this area already. But what about this one right here? Nah, there are also some uh, vendors in these areas, but uh, I'm not close enough. Very neat. Very, very, very neat. So, and also you can like uh, use the tab key in order to highlight this stuff. And this right here, 1,999 enemies in this area. I killed one goblin. This is why it's like one less than 2,000. <laughs> so you know exactly how many enemies there are in a certain area. And um, this is, oh, this game is just so great. So what was I? Um, as was something, I just don't know what. Ah, ah, as was the uh, save feature thing, Mijay. I think a five was like quick save, or was it? Or was it? No. Uh, hmm. Now the question is, uh, is it a... F what button was quick save? Maybe it was a four? No. Maybe it is a f seven, eight, or nine, something like that. Uh -huh. Okay, something happened. Um... So we have a quick save. Uh, do you want to... Yep, that's the one. So F9 saves the day, I think. What about F8? 
and F8 is the loading of said quick save. All right. So where was I? Yeah, you can press A if there's an uh, item down here, but there's a... Uh... Oh, look at this. Characters are highlighted, right? Chests are also highlighted, so you don't just uh, run around the area not knowing what's what. So convenient. Uh, anyway, uh, we also have, as I said, a different kind of abilities. Um, like, if you pl want to play this character more physical, I would say that you're going for this kind of stuff here, like Reiki, Ghost Meadow, or whatnot. Like, this is a very... Because... Um, this character has like additional skills, like magic laws, like increases damage caused by all spells, sure. Meditation, of course, uh, increases regeneration rate of magic spells, so you can cast them faster. But then you have also in the future, uh, at certain levels, of course, uh, different skills that you can learn. Uh, so you have like fire, um, fire spell improvement, or earth skill uh, improvement, or wind skill improvement, or water skill improvement. Um, so it boosts a certain kind of skill again. Uh, but then, like, this is the physical stuff. And I don't know if the... Actually, I, th I think this mage does not have, like, let's say, spirit-ish kind of magic bonus. I don't know if the mod actually gives this kind of thing or not. Um, but yeah, also, yeah, we have our last enemy, similar to Diablo. But this one is much more detailed. <laughs> I like the in-depth stuff. It's so great. Um... Also, it shows you how uh, what kind of damage they deal. It's physical. I don't know. I, no, this is not. It's just something. I don't know what the three dots mean. It could be physical. Whatever. Uh, we have weapon. Okay. Yeah, it's physical. There's the physical icon. So uh, this is our weapon. So we deal like physical damage, uh, no fire damage, a little bit of magic. And why do I not see my weapon equipped? Where is my weapon? Why do I see my weapon? This is the backpack. I have a staff equipped. Where's the staff? Oh! So stupid. Um, <laughs> uh, th this game gives you um, also a different kind of inventory depending on your character, right? So if you are a mage, you have this kind of inventory. If you are, uh, let's say, a seraphim, you have a different kind of inventory layout. So depending on your character, you can wear different kind of items. It's so weird. Um, but yeah. We are limited to this stuff. So this game allows you to choose uh, different weapons uh, and hold them down here. Like you can have a maximum of five different loadouts, dual building included. And um, so like one can be two weapons, uh, two can be like a ranged weapon, three can be like one hander, then uh, with shield, four can be like, uh, what's the other one? Uh, like a two-handed weapon or whatever. So everything's kind of possible. Then we have, of course, Combat Arts, which is the active spell at the moment. Uh, in this case, for us, it's this here. And see, and bam, it's ready. You can also see this on the mouse cursor. When it starts glowing, it's ready again. And there we go. So it's like the 2.7 seconds, which is a bit uh, long. But anyway, this is our damage that we would do with this spell, 117. Uh, with a little bit of weapon bonus uh, of 36%, which comes from... That's weird. This one has a bonus of plus 40% to uh, fire damage, but this one has a weapon bonus of 36%. So... What happened to the... Uh... So the combat art has a weapon bonus now of 21%. Okay. Because we have no weapon uh, equipped. Very interesting. So this bonus 40% is basically plus 50, if we round it a little bit, or like two-fifths. And two-fifths of, um, of 21 are 4%, I think. Two-fifths. Wait a minute. One-fifth is 4%, uh, and uh, two-fifths are then 8%. Yeah, 8%. So 21 plus 8. I think, uh, but we should end up with like 20 something. Um, can we also right click? Yes, right click is also an option. So you just uh, select whatever that is. So, what was I? Um, fire. So we have attack speed, which is interesting. Movement speed, sweet. Uh, also, survival bonus, whatever that means. I have no idea what survival bonus is, by the way. It's a, it is a thing. 
um maybe more drop rate or whatever more experience or whatnot anyhow um back to the whole uh skills kind of thing so physical regeneration is like slightly lesser strength like it's a kind of overarching uh survival skill or whatnot it reduces health and its regeneration physical resistance and reduces cooldown of special moves yeah we have no gain in special moves which is a bit iffy uh, increases physical fire and whatever also increases poison damage da, da, da. no wait a minute strength okay. uh, increases health the only problem is we don't know by how much the values change anyway charisma um, is one of those increases poison resistance and damage uh, of those weapons kind of thing so um, what, what was the other one with its poison thing I think it was um, yeah you have endurance and charisma and then you have dexterity and strength um, both of them focus on uh, a special kind of elemental, let's call it that, uh, damage. One of them is poison, the other one is fire. So it increases poison resistance, poison damage of weapons and special moves, and the selling price of items to the merchant. Which might be so handy because I don't want to run out of gold. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny, um, but we are not benefiting uh, from like poison damage for now. Like the dog elf again would be very, very... Uh, benefiting from that the only skill that we need a lot of basically um and a bit of tank physical damage and range of refiner yeah this is just special moves hmm magic resistance magic damage of weapons and special moves yeah that that's the thing magic damage of weapons and special moves so you have like four different kinds of damages you see them added together Zero physical, 117 um, uh, fire damage. Um, then we have some blue stuff, which is the magical damage. And then we have poison damage, which is the green number. So, where was I? Um, yeah, magic resistance, magic damage of weapons and special moves. Very interesting. Special moves. That's kind of weird, actually. Look lively. Yeah, increases spell damage overall, magic resistance and magic damage of weapons and special moves. Interesting. It's very interesting that a special move gets bonus magical damage. I have never looked at it like that. Anyway, so let's the just end open of this my thing. quest must be in this area. Hmm. And uh, use the auto pickup thing so convenient also we have a slightly larger inventory which is so sweet um okay we got ourselves a little bit of protection bonus uh, constitution by one great wait a minute we have a bonus constitution of one where's our constitution value we don't have stuff like constitution do we that's weird where's my constitution huh I thought we have constitution. It says constitution plus one. Why don't I have constitution in here? That's weird. It's really weird. Oh. Really interesting. Anyway. Uh, let's just learn all of the other spells here, like lightning strike and uh, spiritual uh, spiritual uh, healing, so we can like use them uh, and figure out if they are a good fit or not. And see, you have like a left and a right portion down here. In this case, we don't have dual wield uh, available, and you have of course health potions, potion against undead, potion of mentors, which increases your experience gain. Uh, potion of uh, Viper's Antidote, which is anti-poison, and uh, Potion of Teleportation, which uh, is, I think, the portals? I have no idea how the Potion of Teleportation works. <laughs> Actually, I think I never really played with this thing. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Alright, so, introduction equipment. Uh, your character can be equipped with items found in your backpack. Clothing and jewelry can be worn by placing the items in the corresponding fields towards the right. Of your backpack. Weapons are placed in the slots to the left uh, of the compass and uh, 
the weapons in the selected slots are used, of course, to attack with the left mouse button. Nice. And pressing the right mouse button will use your uh, on an item will automatically equip it. Ah, we are at that part at the moment. If an item armor, for example, is collected and not equipped by a character, it will automatically be equipped. Combat arts are special skills for your character. To learn a... Oh, combat arts is... Ah, so combat arts is both. Hmm. Uh, to learn a new skill, you need to find and use right mouse button. Uh, a rune, uh, that's the little pamphlet. Uh, you will then learn a new combat art, which can be then placed in these slots to the right and used by pressing the right mouse button on a foe. In this case, uh, we are going to defeat the uh, enemies here. Introduction to fighting. In order to fight, left click on an enemy is all you need uh, if you keep the left mouse button pressed. The attack continues to happen. And you can also hold down the control key uh, to stop the character from moving. So, sometimes to the outcome of a fight is decided by the wise use of combat arts. These are used when the right mouse button is held. And combat arts need to be recharged before used again, which is the thing that happens uh, if you do that. So, ah, uh, wait a minute. Um, I have to uh, talk to this. Damn it, just let me get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I... Or maybe I have to uh, get the don't show this again thing. Uh, to complete because your I last it. test, enter the stone circle and defeat the troll I have summoned for you. But be oh. warned, you will not be able to leave the circle while the Sugar. creature lives. lives uh, uh. Of course I am ready. Of course I am. Who do you think I am? <laughs> oh, they are so... So... Self-conscious, it's like, ugh. and so proud of themselves. It's so weird. Also, this uh, mage is like one of the coolest characters, almost. Anyway, also this appears our experience bar. Once it's filled, it's filled, of course. And then we have something really interesting. We have this little plus icon there up here, uh, and if you hover over this, uh, you see all of your bonuses, which are then just shown to you, like fire spells bonus, constitution bonus, and the whatnot. And uh, can we right click here? Nothing. All right. Anyway, I thought there was a way to uh, like quickly open that, but anyway. Oh, nah. Let's just kill it with fire spells. Right now we can only use one spell anyhow. Um, but yeah. So for the uh, introduction uh, of all of this stuff, well, let's yeah, let's let, let, let's keep it at one episode and continue, of course, <laughs> at another point in time with uh, the troll. <laughs> Until then, like and subscribe. Ta-ta.